Hello and welcome back. We'll be looking at the post variable, the post super global variable. And um, the post is similar to the get, just that the post does not transfer from input through the URL, okay? It transfers from input through the HPP, HTTP post method. And there you don't get to see it through the URL. So it's safe for transferring things like passwords credit card details and um, important form inputs. So we're still going to be making use of our form from the last video. And uh, we're going to change this to post this time and see what we get. I'll save that and go back to the browser and refresh. Now we still have the same thing, just that when you input a username, like let's say Thomas and um, okay, our submit button is not there. Let's control S and form. Okay, you have something like Thomas here and execute. Now it executed quite all right, just that you just don't get to see the details right here on the URL. So it's known to be a safer way of transferring form inputs to the server through the browser because you don't get to see any details of the form on the browser now in the next video we're going to look at how we can combine the two or we're going to look at how we can restrict some user abilities on the form okay we're going to look at how we can restrict some things we're going to look at how we can make the user input one or two things in the form using the post method see you in the next video